Class B were learning all about potatoes. Mrs. Bagan was explaining that potatoes came from plants. Everyone was a bit confused. Where do potatoes come from? the teacher asked. The shops, shouted Jordan. Yes, but where do they come from before they get to the shops? said the teacher. I've never seen a potato growing on a plant, said Jordan. Nor have I, said Nicola. I think the best thing to do is to grow our own potatoes and then you'll be able to see, said Mrs. Bagum. Everyone was excited about the idea of growing potatoes. But we don't have a garden or allotment, said Jordan. I don't think we will be able to grow any potatoes after all, said Nicola. Then something very exciting happened. Mrs. Bagum lifted a large box onto the table and pulled out a bag of compost, a trowel and a bucket. She explained that they could grow their own potatoes in the bucket. Everyone was surprised but very pleased. Mrs. Bagum pulled the last item out of the box. It was a potato sitting in an egg box. This potato has been sitting on my windowsill for two weeks. Can you see what's happened? The children looked closely at the potato. It's got bits coming out of it, said Alicia. They look like worms, said Ronnie. The bits are called shoots, explained Mrs. Bagum. The potato has been left to chit, and that means grow shoots. Right, I need two volunteers, said Mrs. Bagum. Me, me, the children called out. Let me see who's sitting nicely, said Mrs. Bagum. Nicola and Jordan sat up straight with their arms folded. Mrs. Bagum chose them, and the class went outside. Mrs. Bagum asked Nicola to half fill the bucket with compost. Mrs. Bagum told Nicola to put the potato in the bucket with the shoots pointing upwards. Then Nicola used the trowel to fill the bucket to the top with compost. Mrs. Bagum asked Jordan to fill up the watering can. He used it to water the compost. Mrs. Bagum explained that they would have to wait a few months for the potato plant to grow. Back in the classroom, Jordan and Nicola looked at the bucket through the window. We've got a garden now, said Jordan. It's a bucket garden, said Nicola. The children checked the plant every day and took it in turns to do the watering. Slowly the plant began to grow. It got bigger and bigger. Flowers appeared and then disappeared again. The children waited for a long time. One day Mrs. Bagum called the children outside. Our potatoes are ready, she said. Everyone looked at the plant. I can't see any potatoes, said Jordan. Neither can I, said Nicola. It hasn't worked. Let's see, said Mrs. Bagum. She gently tipped the bucket over and the compost toppled out onto the ground. The children could see the roots of the plant. Look there, I can see a potato, shouted Nicola, pointing at the bucket. All the children leaned in for a closer look. Sure enough, attached to the roots, they could see not just one potato, but lots of potatoes. Everyone cheered and clapped. Mrs. Bagum and the children carefully collected up the potatoes and took them back into the classroom. Are potatoes the roots of a plant then? asked Alicia. They are part of the root, but they are called tubers, explained Mrs. Bagum. So if I said, where do potatoes come from, what would you say? asked Mrs. Bagum. Potato plants, shouted the class. You're absolutely right, said Mrs. Bagum. Grown in bucket gardens, thought Nicola, smiling to herself. The class was so pleased with the potatoes that they decided to grow other foods. They planted courgettes, strawberries, tomatoes and herbs. It wasn't long before they had their very own school bucket garden.